What's up my fellow wiper downers? It's Danny with Danny's Auto Detailing in San Francisco. I'm back with another video. I got a friend here with me and uh, we're gonna talk about the pains and the aches that I'm having with detailing and hopefully we can get something going to help me out and help you guys out who are also having pain uh, with detailing. So let's get right into it. Uh, here we have. My name is Darren. I'm a physical therapist. I've been an outpatient orthopedic physical therapist for six years now. I've worked with a lot of people who've been working with cars or just other labor jobs, things like that that honestly just put you in bad positions all day long. So I think we've got some ideas, some things that we can show you guys to help make your careers a little bit longer, make you feel a little bit better, and hopefully get out of some pain. Okay, so David, I have, ever since I started detailing, I've started getting pains in my hands, in my forearms, mm -hmm. right? Because I'm just squeezing things all the time and lifting. And um, also I've been recently having some pains in my knee, especially when I get up in the morning. Yeah. Um, other detailers that I've spoke to on my Instagram have told me their lower back's been hurting, mm -hmm. their regular back, their neck, you know, and, and uh, feet and ankles and stuff. And uh, can I demonstrate some of the moves that we do that might give you an idea of how we can you can help us? Yeah, I think that would be great. Okay, Let's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so one of the main things we do a lot is we get on our knees a lot like this and we stand up a lot and there's just a lot of squatting yeah. and sitting down and, and things. And then once we're down here, we're like reaching into cars and we're mm -hmm. kind of holding ourselves up and we're just doing all this kind of stuff and we're using fast things like that. Um, and we're just bent over just a lot, right? And a lot then we, of up and down. A lot, lot of up and down, over, yeah. a lot of bent over. Mm -hmm. We're also using polishing machines, which are pretty heavy and we're going across cars, we're reaching across the car, and then you, there's like low areas, you know, and the, and so it really, I found I, after polishing, I realized that my back is really hurting. You know, I don't have what I, the muscles probably to hold myself up enough, you know? Yeah, so maybe there's absolutely. something we can do there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so those are some of the things that have been hurting us Definitely. as detailers. We certainly have some ideas and some things we can do for that. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So I think what ends up happening a lot of times is when we're doing jobs like this, there's a lot of repetitive stress involved and you get into certain positions a lot. Our body needs symmetry and it needs support. So what we were gonna wanna try to go over today how can we create symmetry within the body? Like if we're over here, we're bending over forward a lot. How can we get you back into a position that's gonna be helpful, create symmetry, and just make it a little bit easier on your body? Also, how can we get a little bit stronger in a couple of ways? It's just gonna reduce some of the stress so that there's gonna be a little bit less of that repetitive stress on your spine and on your muscles and your joints. How can we do some of those things that reduces the pain, keeps you at it just a little bit longer? Right on, yeah, so that's for sure. We're gonna go for. All right, so let's start with this first position that I think you're gonna be getting into a lot, as you mentioned, the bending over forward, maybe you're cleaning, scrubbing, looking at corners, doing those kinds of things. This is the one that I think is gonna be the easiest to do, but it's also going to be what I think is the most effective. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna start on your stomach here, you're gonna have your hands underneath your shoulders like you're in a push-up position. This is called a press-up. Sometimes in yoga we know it as like a cobra pose, um, up dog, things like that. But basically you're just gonna use the strength of your arms to push your shoulders up uh -huh. and just create as much of an arch in your back as you can. As you might notice, and come back down and relax, we're creating the opposite position in your low back as you are when you're bent over forward. So. Push up, nice exhale, and then back down. Perfect, so we're gonna do eight of these. All right, up, exhale, back down. Good, and the whole idea here is you're spending so much time bending over forward inside yeah. the car, how often are you doing this while you're working, right? Probably never, yeah. You're probably never, right? right so right. we wanna recreate that balance that we're just not getting with the job. So you stress it in one way a whole bunch. Okay. So now we have to make that balance. I totally feel it. Yeah. So this is gonna be an exercise that you're gonna to wanna to do once in the morning and once in the evening. All right, there's actually a good amount of research and you can take a break there. Okay. There's a good amount of research that shows that people who have had back pain in the past, if they do this exercise once in the morning and once in the evening, your recurrence of low back pain moving forward can actually be cut in about a quarter. So basically your risk is very significantly reduced. So something as simple as 30 seconds in the morning, 30 seconds at night, that's more than enough to take away a big risk of back pain. Right on, man, right on. What do you guys think? Is that a good exercise? Leave a comment below. Do you think we can, we can do this uh, twice a day? I hope so. Yeah, better, we better <laughs> do it. So. It's easy. 
So this is a foam roller. Uh, this is gonna be your best friend for a lot of your other back, knee, a lot of those types of aches and pains that you're having. Um, you can find it at Amazon, 36 inches. You can get it at any kind of sport retailing store. But anyways, we're gonna be using this for several things um, moving forward here. Okay. So um, we're gonna set it down on the ground here. Let's focus in on the back once again. So Danny, what we're gonna do, and actually we'll set these right behind us here, is you're going to start with the foam roller at the lower portion of your ribs, maybe right below your shoulder blades. You're gonna go hands behind your back here, and now you're gonna roll down and back up. Yep, this is like a free little massage that you're gonna get. Yeah, I can feel my bones cracking. <laughs> you can feel a little bit of some crackles and some pops. Those are good things for sure. A little free massage back here. And then yeah, just working up and down. You'll wanna do this for about two minutes, maybe three minutes, frankly, as long as feels good, but that's gonna be a good amount of time to make sure that you're getting good and warmed up there. Okay. The next movement that we wanna do is you're gonna bring your hips down, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And then tighten your core muscles just a little bit. And now we're just gonna bend your back, back over the roller and let those elbows fall out to the side. I like this because we're getting to do two things at once here. We're both stretching out our pec muscles, the front of the shoulders, and then we're also getting that mid back mm. nice and extended. Ooh, yeah. All right, so come back up. Now roll a little bit lower on the roller, so bring it a little bit higher on your back. And now let's bend back one more time, open those shoulders up. So this you're gonna wanna do four, five, six times, whatever feels like is enough for you. And you just wanna make sure that you're getting nice and open and loosened up. And what you'll probably notice is once again, we're getting in the reverse positions of what you're constantly having to be in in the car. If you're constantly, if you're working and you're bending over forward and your shoulders are forward, well, guess what we're doing now? We're opening back this way. Your mid back has been over forward, it's reaching forward. What are we doing? We're bending it back, just trying to create that symmetry once again. So this would be exercises two and three that should be helpful mm -hmm. for the back. Awesome, man. All right, so we're back with our new best friend, the foam roller. This time we're gonna be a little bit more knee focused. So let's get back into it. What are we doing? We're squatting up and down. We're mm -hmm. holding those tools so those thighs are gonna get tight and it can cause some knee pain, can cause some issues around your kneecaps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this on the ground but instead of rolling our back this time, we are gonna roll our thighs or our quad muscles. Basically, our target area is from top of the knees up to the hip bones. So, we're gonna lay on it here. Unfortunately, this one's not gonna be as comfortable as on the back. Yeah. So hurt. we're gonna roll forward up to the knees and then back down, back up to those quads and hips. And so when you find those hot spots kind of through there, you're gonna notice it's like, yeah, oh, that, yeah. that hurts right good. there. <laughs> that, hurts. that burns. So yeah. spend a little extra time on that. Do some small rolling back and forth up and down those areas. And then after you get another 10 seconds in there, then just kind of move on to wherever that next spot oh, may yeah. be. Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. So you might need to spend a few minutes on yeah. this. But I think a good frame of time would be two to three minutes. I think you work through that. Um, a okay. couple minutes and that should be enough to kind of loosen things up just a little bit. And that's going to help with like knee, knee joints exactly. even? Exactly. Knee joints, it'll help take some pressure off of the muscles, the tendons, and therefore it'll help the joints move more effectively. And in turn, can we also like roll the back of our legs and our calves you similarly? Can. Similarly, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think it's not quite as effective, but I do think it is a, certainly an option that you can start to work on a little okay. bit too. Yeah. Okay, thanks cool. Dave. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sometimes what I like to do now, if you have one of the longer foam rollers, um, is now that we have this loosened up, we can now stretch it out a little bit more effectively. So I like to go one hand on the roller for a little bit of balance, grab the foot, and then just pull your heel to butt. This is gonna take a little balance, a little coordination, mm -hmm. but now that we have that nice and loosened up, we're gonna work on stretching that muscle out. And here's a little tidbit about stretching. You wanna stretch that muscle between 45 to 60 seconds per day. Because anything less than that, unfortunately doesn't make a big change over time. Okay. So we gotta do it for that long. All right, you hear that guys? 45 to 60 seconds. Yeah, makes muscle. a difference. Yeah, makes a difference. Yeah, so this full routine, 
hopefully shouldn't take more than seven or eight minutes. You know, you spend a couple minutes foam rolling, a minute, a um, couple minutes doing the stretch, minute or two doing those press ups. Honestly, you should be able to do the whole routine in less than 10 minutes. But if you have a specific problem, maybe it's just the knees, then maybe you just do the knee section. Or if it's just the back, maybe you just do the back section. But even if you were to run through the whole routine, hopefully it shouldn't take you more than seven, 10 minutes out of your busy day. No excuses, guys, yeah. no excuses. <laughs> All right, so we're here to build up some core muscle. So I'm gonna use Danny as our muscle oh. here. And uh, we're gonna figure out how can we get your back strong? And we gotta notice we gotta make some changes here. So, um, the first position that we're gonna be in right here is, yep, perfect. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and you wanna tighten those core muscles. Um, so, what we're gonna do is find that good position, yeah. tighten that core in case somebody's gonna come get you in the stomach, right? Yeah. So, you wanna have opposite leg and okay. arm are gonna come up and out at the same time. So basically, there you oh, go. Oh, there we go. Hold that position for five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna alternate back and forth there. Four, three, two, one, perfect. So there's a few things that you wanna look out for while you're doing this exercise. It's a really easy way to cheat if when you're doing this, if you start to rotate your hips a lot one way or the other, you wanna try yeah. to stay nice and as yeah. flat as you can. Um, okay, and another thing, there it is right there. Yeah, perfect. He's already a pro. And you wanna make sure that you're holding it for long enough. That good full five seconds is what we need. Got it. There we go. Creates balance, creates stability in the core, and a little bit of focus too. Nothing like keeping you cool. in the present. There we go, <laughs> yes sir. That's what I tell my detailer friend, everybody uh, is, you know, getting in the detailing, the zone, you know, mm -hmm. being in the present moment, because if you're in the present moment while you're detailing, your eyes, uh, your vision opens up and you can see more. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And so how, how can that relate to what you're saying? Exactly, so I think what you do is that you just really kind of concentrate on what you're feeling, what kind of position your body is in, and am I working the right muscles? Because honestly, sometimes these exercises can be really easy if you just kind of let your core slump and you just kind of throw your arms and legs around. It doesn't really do you as much good. But if you really focus, have that mental presence on, am I stabilizing the right muscles? That's how you're gonna get the most out of this exercise. Right on, man, cool. Cool. Those are good exercises. Yeah, yeah. Personally for me, something that I've had pain with, uh, and I don't know if you can help, but uh, stiff hands. Yeah. Is that is that from not stretching? Is that like a lifestyle uh, thing that I need to change? Like my hands, I think there's a lot of inflammation mm -hmm. around my hands and my arms. I, that's all. What do you suggest? Like when I wake up in the morning, they're just like, yeah. uh, and I have to like work to kind of wake them up. 100%. So I think this is where we get back to the repetitive stress word that we were talking about, right? You know, you're constantly like you're gripping, you're squeezing, you're holding, you're turning, you're twisting. So I would venture a guess that most of you that are doing detailing, you probably have pretty strong hands. You probably have pretty strong forearms because you're doing a lot of these movements all day. So ultimately, I would say what you need is the stretching portion. And I mm -hmm. bet that's what most yeah. people who are in this business are probably missing is the stretching. So if you take that principle that we talked yeah. about earlier with how long should we be stretching per day, yeah. if we just do that 45 seconds to a minute per day, but let's just apply it to our hands now. Yeah. So we've got one stretch where right. we're just gonna be pulling those fingers back and up, right? And then the opposite is going down this way. Mm -hmm. I would venture a guess, a lot of you have probably done a stretch, something like this or similar before. But what I'm gonna challenge you is, is you just need to do it more. I think a lot of people are gonna be like, all right, it's tight, Let's just hit a few seconds here, maybe that feels better, but you'll notice that bigger change if you do it more frequently and do it for longer than you have been. All right, David, I just wanna thank you for the time you've taken. It's been a pleasure. Uh, to, been a pleasure. Uh, show me and other detailers some stretches we yeah. can do to get more limber and hopefully uh, extend the life of our careers. And if you wanna give a plug on the business, you know, please go for it. Yeah, sure, if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, we're here at Golden Gate Physical Therapy. We're in Japantown in San Francisco. Um, but for the rest of you, if you feel like you're struggling and things just aren't getting better, make sure you reach out to your local PT. They'll be able to give you some more things, maybe uh, more specific for you. All right, so there you have it, guys. Thanks again, David. And remember, be good to yourself, be good to others, and don't detail angry. <laughs>